Hello everybody, welcome back to Vape Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking into this little shape called the micro bit. We're going to be mainly using the two buttons here and the LEDs. So we're, this is just a basic introduction to it so you guys can kind of get into the groove. And uh, we'll look into this later on another tutorial. And for those of you who don't have a micro bit, I do have an uh, alternative version. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Like always, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's go ahead and start with our demo. So for today, our demo is going to be slightly different because I have to use uh, two computers. My filming computer unfortunately has no Bluetooth. So first, let me give you the demo and then I'll show you guys how to build it. So I'm going to press letter A. And then there's letter B. And that's it. That's all we that's all I did for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get into the actual code. Well first let's teach you guys how to download this stuff. So you're gonna go to this uh website scratch.mit.edu dot I mean backslash microbit. And right here it's gonna show you your requirements. So your requirements are basically you have to have a Windows 10 with version with this version you have to have bluetooth and you have to have this scratch link which they're gonna teach you how to download here so i on the computer that i'm currently recording on showing you guys how to do this do not have bluetooth did not realize i needed one but it's on the way so i'm ordering that for the next videos i'm currently recording on an actual smaller i'm running my demo on a smaller uh surface pro that i have and then so basically what you do you're gonna Go ahead and click on this or this. They both do exactly the same thing. So let's go through this one. You're going to get it from here. And for those on Windows, it's going to launch this thing. So you do this launch and it's going to download it to your computer. But basically, it's going to download some, something and you're going to... Yeah, so it's saying this part is already installed. So basically, what it's going to do is download it and then just double click on it and install it like they tell you here. So you'll know it's installed once you're actually able to see this under pop-up arrow and you can go ahead and if it's not there but you know it's installed you can search it on the search bar or search through your programs and double click on it to get it started and then the next thing will be to connect to your micro bit so you're gonna connect it to your computer you're gonna download this and you're like literally gonna just copy it onto your micro bit and the weird thing is it's going to copy it over, but your folder that you copy it over that has that micro bit uh, is going to disappear. So let me show you kind of what you're going to see. I'm going to put my micro bit onto that computer, even though it doesn't have Bluetooth, just to show you guys. So you should be able to see your micro bit. It will either pop up like it did right now, or you're actually going to be able to see it like down here on all your devices. And in it, all you're going to do is drag that hex file that you download, which I did yesterday. I downloaded it several times because I, I was like, why is it not working? And then I realized, oh yeah, I need Bluetooth. Never mind. It's not going to work on this computer. So you go in there, you grab it. And, and this is exactly what you guys are going to see, which is the weirdest thing. It's going to, it's going to say it's copying it over and it, boop, the window disappears. And then when you get back to it, you're like, but I thought I copied it over. It's not in there. But apparently it is already in your device. So it knows that it's connected. So the way you can tell whether you're actually connected or not to it. Okay, so now let's follow the next one. So you're going to connect it to your computer, which you obviously already did. You're going to go to Scratch. And you're going to go down here to add the extension of the micro bit. And it's over here. So right here is going to tell you what it needs. It needs Bluetooth and it needs Wi-Fi. And then this was um, created by Microbit. They collaborated to create this so that we can use them for scratch. So then you're going to go in here. And it's going to look automatically for your device. But because my computer doesn't have Bluetooth, it's not going to be able to find it. 
So make sure you guys have Bluetooth enabled on your computer if you're doing this or or or, or uh, your uh, tablet. So yeah, I didn't find any devices, obviously. And it's gonna give you this. If it, it cannot find it, it's gonna give you this. And if you do have Bluetooth and you're you do turn it on and you want to connect to it all you have to do is click here and it, it'll automatically start connecting to it all right so let's go ahead and show you that demo that i had how i did that so basically what i did i went ahead and found me another one of my my uh, avatars basically once you have that you can choose from only of these blocks here to do whatever you need to do i created a text uh, variable because I wanted to make sure I could change that to whatever I wanted. It allows you the flexibility. You only have to change it one place. If you have multiple things going on. So I did that. That way I didn't have to change it twice here. So that's my text. And that's that's what this, this basically displays when I do the button. So I can have it display here on, on Scratch. And I can also have it display on, on my actual device over here, right here. So if you see that it actually displays what's on there. And my functionality for is it's going to be done with the button. So it, when I click on the buttons that the pop is going to pop up. So if I press on the B button on this side, right? I put a little heart there. So then there's a little heart over here. And you can change this to anything. I put the save button so I could show you guys visually what's over here. And you can change this drawing to anything you want. Let's see if I can get creative over here. The little happy face. I'm going to press the button, the B button right here. It's going to show me happy face. Oh, I guess I'm not connected yet. Yeah, not connected. Oh, I need to reconnect because I refreshed the page. So every time you refresh your project, you have to reconnect. And I'll show you the little, the little orange exclamation mark at top this guy here and you click on it and it'll connect uh, connect back to the device once you're actually connected once here's the happy face Ta -da! and this just allows you to kind of get creative with with these kind of things we're gonna go look at these ones later in more detail i am waiting for my bluetooth dongle that way i don't have to have the computers but i had to get creative for this demo uh, but let me show you the alternative way if you guys don't actually have a microbit. Microbit themselves have a website. So let's go to that. They have this thing called uh, microbit.org slash code slash. And in here, depending on the level you're comfortable with, they have many different ways of programming. But... The cool thing about it is you can actually go to the editor and to be able to go to the editor here, you go to this, uh, on this page, I'm going to put all the links below, but on this page, you're going to go to this, go to micro, go to make code that editor. And it's going to pop this page open here. And all you're going to do is create a new project. And, um, uh, I've already created a new project over here. This is the first time I use this, uh, editor so if you see here these are what i had in scratch it's slightly different because we don't use a flag we're actually using the text uh but it's kind of a similar idea i don't have a little avatar so this is just to run on the actual hardware it's not to make it an a visual way on a screen it's more to show you what it does over here so like this one says if I press the letter A, then I want you to show the string. So if I press the letter A. So as you can see, it does the same thing that a microbit does, the actual hardware, but it does it in a visual way. So that for those of you who want to play around with the microbit and don't actually have a microbit or are waiting for it, you can go ahead and just um, 
have it display here. Or for those of you who don't have Bluetooth, then you can just have it display here too. So here it goes. And then there's a little heart. Now let's make the little happy face that I had on the other side. There we go. And let's make a happy face. And if you look through these, there's a lot of different many options. Uh, I do want to go ahead and start teaching you guys how to use this stuff. I think it allows us to play around with the hardware a little more. And uh, it'll be good to go into this. So I'm going to start making some tutorials on how to use this for, for those of you who want to learn how to use the micro bed. So basically, uh, like I said, I had to get creative, I had to run to computers to be able to run my demo today. But I feel like we taught you guys a pretty good way of alternative ways of doing things for those of you who want to use this device here. And it's only about $10, I think, if you actually do want to get it. But do make sure you have Bluetooth because I, if Bluetooth dongle, assuming your computer or device is compatible with the dongle, it's, I think, another maybe ten dollars so a total maybe of, i want to say about 25 to 30 dollars of a purchase for shipping and handling if you don't actually have the devices i hope you guys enjoyed this one uh it was just a quick introduction to the micro bait and how to use it and uh we'll see you guys on the next one i'm definitely gonna show you guys how do you do more things on this little device it's pretty uh it's pretty interesting uh we'll see you guys don't forget to subscribe Oh, 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 oh,